Hey guys, so this is week three, exercise three, uh, for lab view introduction. So this week we get to get into a little bit more fun stuff in lab view. I know the first two videos were a bit boring with what we got to do because they were kind of pointless. This one is kind of fun though. Um, so what we have to do is create a program to store five grades for a student. Your front panel should include a place to input the grades, display the grades, and a button to average the grades. Um, so we're going to have a, it says you have to have a stop button as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to our lab view. And we're going to have to exit out, go create a project. And we're going to have to create a blank project, not just a VI, because we have to make variables in this one. So first off, we're just going to go ahead and click, right click on my computer and add new VI. So now we have our VI. Pretty simple. So first off, we're going to have to make our five um, grade inputs. So we're going to go ahead and put those in there. We're going to make numeric controls. So we're going to have, name it grade one. Now we're going to copy and paste that. It's going to automatically make it grade two, then grade three, then grade four, then grade five. So that's how we do that. Part. So we're going to go ahead and arrange these nice and neat. I guess they're really messy. And in LabVIEW, we want everything to be as neat as we possibly can, so we can understand what we're doing. So next, we have to build our array bar, which you saw how to do in your previous, in my previous video. So we're going to go back to that, and we're going to build an array. So we're going to put this here. And again, it doesn't have any name. So we're going to have to go to numeric, and we're going to have to build an indicator a bit again. And then we're going to have two, three, four, five. We have five of those. Then we need our average our indicator. So we're going to go ahead and go back and go to numeric and indicator. And we're going to go ahead and just name that average. Then we need an average button. So we're going to go to Boolean this time. We're going to go to an OK button. All of these do the same thing, they just have different built in names. So we're just going to go ahead and put Okay, but we're going to go, and what I like to do is right click on this and click visible items and just get rid of the label because it looks dumb. So then you can double click inside of there and change that to average. If I could spell it right. Okay, now that's it. Then, if we want to be fancy, we can make our button bigger by just dragging it out like you would in anything else in the world. Just click the little thingy and drag it out. So now we have our average button, and then we're going to make a stop button. That one's already made for us, we're just going to put that here and make it stop. And again, I don't like those um, labels, so I'm going to get rid of the label. So now we have our... Ew. Okay. So we got our buttons and stuff now. So now we're going to make our for loop because, or actually it's a while loop, my bad, I'm sorry. We have to make a while loop because we want this to go until we tell it to stop. Now we're going to add variables into this and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first off we're going to make our while loop. So we're going to go back to our VI, move these buttons out of the way. Go to structures, create a while loop and just wrap it around. I completely missed everything. Okay. Now we have our while loop. Um, so now what we have to do is somehow we have to make all these grades and we have to put them into this array up here because it's going to take this array and it's going to take the numbers inside of here and it's going to add them all up together, and then it's going to take the average when you hit this button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, and we're going to go to our array. And we're going to want it to build an array. So we're going to go to this build array function. And it only shows one. And so we have one, two, three, four, five grades. 
So we're just going to go here and drag it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this array is going to be built on, by based on top to bottom as first and last. So we're just going to run the first number into the top one, second number into the second one down, third one into the third one down, fourth one into the fourth one down, and guess what? We're going to run the fifth one into the fifth one. So now it's building an array. So we're going to go ahead and as you look on here, it's going to go ahead and we don't even need this indicator in here yet. So we're going to pull this indicator out of here. Now what we're going to need is our stop in here. So this is where we get to get into the variables. Because we have these numbers and we're going to have to save it in a variable this little thing right here is a variable it's a shared variable so we're gonna have to go back to our um, project piece and since it this built an array we're gonna need an array variable so this we're just gonna head run to our array so it builds the array but right now it's just gonna take these four numbers and put them in an array so we don't want it to just do that we want it to save this number that's coming out of this wire into the array or this section of numbers so we can use it and average them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our project, we're going to right click on my computer, instead of creating a VI, we're going to create a variable. Now this is an array variable, so we need to, we're going to name this variable um, grade, uh, grades below. Then we're going to go to the data type, because it's not just a DBL, it's a uh, array. So we're going to have to scroll up, and it's an array of double because it's an array and it's in double form. So now we have an array of double and we're just going to create this. So this is just there now. So now we're going to go here. You can either drag this into your array or you can go into your, or in your um, VI. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into structures and my functions and I'm going to go down to shared variable. Now we're going to place this in here and it shows an error so we're going to have to select a variable and we're going to go to my computer and total every one and it's going to show up as grades now if i didn't make this project it would not work because we would have variables all over the place and we would not have nothing to do with it now right now the arrow is pointing to the right so it's going to run a read and we want to write so we're going to right click on this and change it to um, We're going to change it so it's going to write. As soon as I can find the button. Oh. You have to go to access mode in order to make it write. Not like the other things where you just click on it and change. You have to go to access mode and go to read to write. So now we're going to run our wire to our grades. So that's our first variable. That's just going to save this uh, sec array of numbers into our variable. So now we need to do the same thing for the stop button, but we want it the, so we're going to have to make another while loop down below this one. So we're going to want it to save a variable for our boolean as well going into our stop button. So we're going to go back here and we're going to make another variable. This time it's a boolean, so we're going to scroll up until it we're going to find the boolean. And we're going to change this to stop. And it saves our stop. So this time I'll just drag it in here, just to show you that you can do it. And this needs to be access mode right, so we're going to change that to right. We're just going to run our button. Now, it has to read here, so we're just going to copy and paste this, and then change this one back to read, and connect it to our stop button. So now we have the first part of this done. So this is going to read, this is going to take our numbers that we input, and it's going to build an array with it, right here. And then it's also going to save that array in our grades right here, in our grades variable. And the stop button is just going to save the stop button variable and go right here. So basically these two right now, it's basically making a wireless connection between this variable and this variable. It's kind of like using a microphone at a concert, and you see um, 
them using wireless mics rather than cords. The cord would just connect these two together, and the wireless mic would allow you to do it in between stuff, and you can connect it at multiple different places. So now we have to make our second while loop, and that's just going to tell us when we push that button, we want it to, that average button, we want it to um, average our grades and then show it in our indicator, which is going to be our average button here. Our stop button is already up here, and when both of these stop, since the variable for the stop button that we already made is already here, this is the same as this one, this is the same as this one, this one's read and this one's write, this one's write, or write, and these two are read, these are the same variable. So we have two variables in here. This little average one right here, we're not going to use because it is not relevant in this program. It was just added to show you that you can add another variable on there. So we're going to go back to our lab view, and we're going to go ahead and create another while loop. So now I have my other while loop, and let's just go ahead and take my stop button, copy it, and paste it. So we have that already finished. So now what we want to do is put this OK button, which is actually our average button. And now we want it to, whenever it's true, which is going to be when this button is pressed down, we want it to make the average and put it in this indicator. But we don't want it to do it when it's false. So what we're going to do to make that is we're going to go to our structures and we're going to use a case structure. Now, a case structure basically allows you to, whenever it's one name, it's going to do something, and then when it's not, it's going to do the other. Right now, it's set to true and false. So we're just going to connect this right here, and whenever this is true, when this is pushed down, it's going to do whatever is in this true area. And we could switch it to false, and it's going to do whatever is in the false area. So right now, and our false is the default, so what we're going to do is... We're going to leave our average outside of this case statement because we only want it to show when it's in there. Um, actually, you can do it while it's in. He did it once, and so we'll do it while it's in. We're going to put the average inside of the case statement. And when it's true, we want it to take this number right here. So we're going to copy and paste that variable that we made earlier. And we're going to put it in and make sure this is true because you don't want it doing it when it's false. We're going to change it to actually we're going to access mode and read it. So, we could do a whole thing where it takes all the numbers and adds them together and divides it, but they make a little thingy that does that for us. So, we're going to go, and it's really annoying to find. So, we're just going to do search, and we're going to do mean. We're just going to search mean. Let's search it. Uh, I normally do this as control space. You just mean and it's going to be the second one because it's your mean vi it's going to be a little mean button so all this is going to do is take your mean you're going to input it in it's going to take this number or this this variable and it's going to average all those numbers then it's going to put it out as a dbl so now that's the that's your easy part um he added a second variable in there i don't really know why um so now you have a working um, piece, so we're going to go ahead and run this, as just, just hit the single arrow. So this is going to deploy it, it takes a second. Um, so now it's running. We're going to put grade 1, we'll put a 98. Grade 2, we'll put a 57. 36, 100, and a 60. And we're going to hit the average button. It's going to give us our average. Then we hit stop. And it stops our program. Um, so that's uh, this program. Um, exercise 3. I hope this helped. Um, watch my next video. If you have any questions, uh, send us an email through our website in the um, contact us page on the homepage. Um, thank you. I hope this helped.